Hi, Abu. Hi, hi, Toby. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, thanks for letting us into this great room in the Shinla Hotel. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh, could you briefly introduce yourself to our viewers, please? Sure. Um, you can hold this. Thank you. If you want. I'm a director at BitGo. Um, so I cover a few markets in Asia. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm on the sales side, um, really helping to raise the profile of our business here in Asia, as well as help to grow our client um, base and expand our client footprint here in this part of the world, where we see you know, tremendous potential and in the past have not admittedly spent as much resources and time in. Great. Thank you so much. Um, next question is a, is a little bit of ice-breaking question. So we would like to know what was the first coin that you bought, when and why did you buy it? Has to be Bitcoin. <laughs> Classic, yeah. <laughs> Has to be Bitcoin. Um, why? Um, I think the tech behind it is just fascinating. Um, and yeah, you know, I know people always use the term rabbit hole to describe the fascination, mm -hmm. but it really is that. And once you start, once you start, you really, just, you really can't stop. And you know, it's now part of the work, uh, which is obviously super exciting. And um, you know, it's very different from what, from what I used to do in traditional finance. Right. Thank you so much. Okay, next questions will be about BitGo, right? So for the starters, we would like to know what does BitGo do? And what, what are some services provided by BitGo? Yeah, so BitGo is the largest provider of digital asset infrastructure. True. So the starting point for us is wallets, custody, liquidity on top of that. Um, I think what really difference, differentiates BitGo, especially in the market like this, with the circumstances that we're in, is really the fact that we combine um, the technology that we have as a tech provider on the mm -hmm. hot wallet side, mm -hmm. alongside regulated custody. Right. So if you are a VC with LPs to be accountable to, if you are a family office with a principal to be accountable to, if you are a global business with shareholders to be accountable to, you don't want to mess around. Right? Mm -hmm. You want to have a, uh, a firm that you can delegate that responsibility to. And that's the feedback that we tend to get from our clients. Mm -hmm. right? That they trust us. They want us to take responsibility for their assets to custodize it with the best technology out there. And so that's what we do. Um, and what's exciting for us is that while we have a very strong base with our 10-year track record in the crypto space, with our Web3 clients, um, the Web1 and Web2 front is where we think the opportunity is, mm -hmm. and where a lot of the technology, the developments, and the questions are today coming from. Yeah, right. Thank you so much. Okay, next question. Um, you've already mentioned some, but we would like to know more. Uh, who are BitGo's services for, and how can they benefit from BitGo? Yeah, today we serve... I will say our client base comprises of mainly institutional clients, right? So we're a pure B2B uh, business mm -hmm. in that sense. Mm -hmm. We do have some high net worth clients um, that have significant holdings in digital assets that you know, similarly um, trust us with, with right. the custody of those assets. Um, but really, the way we're set up is to serve institutions um, because you know, not only are we out here to ensure that the pie mm -hmm. is safe for our clients, but to grow the pie. And I think uh, an important way to grow that pie is to instill trust in the yeah. ecosystem mm -hmm. via what we do. We have one job, right? Not to lose <laughs> client funds. <laughs> um, and it's really that simple. Um, and especially when you read about you know, hacks, drug coups, et cetera, um, you know, I think that that point becomes more important um, than ever before. Right. Thank you so much. Okay, next question. So we would like to know more about what makes Beko so special and what is the special ingredient that makes a difference? Yeah, it's a, it's a really interesting question. Um, I think, you know, if you are um, someone looking to touch crypto, to get into crypto, mm -hmm. um, if you are a business that needs to get into this space, the first thing you're going to think about is infrastructure right, and the security of the infrastructure. In that sense, we have a very good preview sneak preview as to what is going to take place in the industry over the next 9 to 12 months. Right? We have a sense wow. of what firms are thinking about, right? whether it's the technology front, whether it's the infrastructure front, or whether it's just about the ecosystem, right? mm -hmm. which may need to build on. Right. Um, so we cover a very broad surface area, right? and we have a very good sense as to what we need to be doing to adapt to market conditions. Mm -hmm. And when you are that firm and you decide, yes, we're going to commit a budget to a project, we're going to hire people, we're going to get man management buy-in, 
and we're going to execute. You then want to work with the best possible partner if you decide to build it true, and, yeah. and outsource um, that development. And so when you think about who you want to partner with, mm -hmm. right, you're going to have a long list of criteria. Yeah. And I don't think there are many firms out there that meet as many of those checkboxes that we meet. So forget the relationship, wow. forget the presence, whatever. It's really that objective evaluation of what we can do and the ability of what we can do um, that I think is the secret sauce and what makes us stand out. But that said, um, you know, we, we can't rest on our laurels. Um, there's a lot going on in the space. Mm -hmm. It moves so quickly, right? And therefore, right. adapting, being flexible, being agile is also very important to us. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, great answer. Okay, next, next question. Um, so Cosmos Station, we are a partner validator of BitGo. So we would like to know uh, what were some of the reasons behind uh, selecting Cosmos Station as a partner validator of BitGo? Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, I think when we think about expanding um, the chains that we support, the main nets that we support, right? Um, the Cosmos ecosystem mm -hmm. is something that we've supported quite recently. And because of that, the natural question from clients is, what can you do on the staking front? And in that sense, having trusted partners like Cosmos Station is important for us, right? And therefore, we look forward to a partnership with Cosmos Stations to help clients bring the best of what they can get with regulated custody, with the best in class staking providers that are out there as well. Thank you so much. We're really happy to be a partner with BitGo. Excited as well. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, next question. Uh, yeah, BitGo had a huge announcement yesterday. So uh, could you explain about it to our viewers, for those who don't know about it? Yeah, sure. In, it really is indeed um, exciting for us, right? Um, because we announced yesterday that we'll be entering um, into a partnership with HANA Bank here in Korea right. um, to have a joint entity set up, um, which we hope goes live um, mm -hmm. by the middle of next year. Because, you know, you need to apply for licenses, get regulatory approval, be operational and we start onboarding our first clients. Yeah. Um, but the Korean market is a really important one for us. As Mike, um, you may have seen in his presentation yesterday mentioned, Korea by and large is the third biggest market for crypto. Right. Um, and so for a country of 55 million people to be the third largest market says a lot. Right? So we hope that um, with the partnership with HANA, that demonstrates not just our commitment mm -hmm. to the Korean market, but to the wider APEC market as well. Um, so it, in that sense, you know, we hope that it will serve as a springboard into what we can demonstrate with our capabilities as a truly global custodian, right? where clients have the ability um, to use BitGo locally. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's important to clients today as the landscape, particularly with what regulators are thinking, evolves mm -hmm. uh, going forward. Yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Partnering up with Pana Bank, we didn't see it coming. Yeah, that's, I think that's so great. Yeah, we had to um, keep it under the hood for, uh, <laughs> for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, wow. But it's out there, and that's where the hard work um, truly begins for us now. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Oh, so next question. You are a representative of BitGo in Korea. So we are wondering what are some business areas that BitGo is trying to develop in Korea from now or from next year? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, and it's a question that we think about a lot globally mm -hmm. as well. Um, but the fundamental piece for us, the starting point for us, will always ever be custody and wallets to begin with. Yeah. Right? And then on top of that, if clients want to have an NFT marketplace, if clients want to be able to access DeFi, if clients want to be able to stake mm -hmm. from the security of their wallets with us, that's where things get interesting. And that's where we try to find a customized, tailored solution sometimes um, for them. Um, so in that sense, Korea is no different. But of course, the requirements, the appetite, and I guess the, the feedback that our clients get from their end users mm -hmm. is obviously very specific in Korea as well. And therefore, we have to continue um, to adapt and to evolve into those needs. And in that sense, that's where the partnership with HANA is so important for us, right? Because while we have a lot of Web3 clients today in Korea, there's a lot of institutional money that are on the sidelines, but are very interested in the Web3 space as well, in yeah. crypto as well. Mm -hmm. And we hope that with this partnership, we are able to unlock and provide comfort to that some of so that institu yeah. institutional money to come in. So yeah, super excited. Um, and Exciting. we hope that serves as a pathway mm -hmm. for 
what other institutions in other parts of Asia then see um, with the way forward as well. Thank you so much. Great answer. For those who want to learn more about BitGo, how can they get started and what are some resources available for them? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, you know, we've got the website, bitgo.com. Mm -hmm. um, we've got an excellent world-class marketing team that covers us across crypto Twitter, LinkedIn, social media um, in of general, course. and the traditional media space as well. So please feel free to Google BitGo, look us up on YouTube, look us up on our socials, engage with us on crypto Twitter. Uh, we're there and we're around and we're definitely keen to <laughs> um, do business yeah. and uh, expand our footprint. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, last, lastly, uh, is there anything you want to say to potential customers in Korea? Call us. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're here to do business. Um, I live in Korea. This is my new home and um, very keen to engage and see how we can enable clients um, to come into the space um, in a secure, comfortable, efficient manner. Thank you so much. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. Um, thanks so much for having me. Really appreciate it and enjoyed it. Thank you.